Well, uh, good Sunday uh, evening to you. I'm going to read from uh, Luke chapter 2, uh, starting in verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for I bring you, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. You know, as I, as I think about this, you know, why the shepherds? You know, if back then shepherds, being a shepherd was probably the lowest of the jobs back then. And you wonder, well, well, why did he proclaim it to the shepherds? You know, but you go on and you read verse uh, 17, or let's read verse 15. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they who heard it wondered at these those things which were told them by the shepherds. That's why. Because he knew that they were going to go out from there and spread it. That it was going to go just like the old saying, like a wildfire. A lot wildfire. Um, and he wanted the birth out there. And so he picked these shepherds. You know, and just what a wonderful thing, you know, as after this had happened, you know, for them to live the rest of their life knowing that they proclaim they were chosen to proclaim the birth to this world uh they were the first preachers some people say of spreading the gospel and the good news let's pray hope you've had a good day and uh hope you're getting ready for uh christmas and and uh, gonna have a, a wonderful time with your family Let's pray. Father, we just uh, thank you, Lord, most of all, for being our Savior. We thank you, the Lord, that you were born in Bethlehem. The Lord, that you came into this world, as, as your word says, to seek and to save those who were lost. You came into this world to, to ultimately die on an old rugged cross and then arise from the grave and live forevermore. Lord, and we thank you. We thank you that you went to those shepherds or you had your angels go to those shepherds that morning and tell them that the birth had happened, the announcement of, of Christ, the Messiah, had been born. And they took it and they spread it and shared it with the, with the world. And it's the same thing that we're doing today. We're not, we're not spreading the message that that uh, you're going to be born again or that you're going to die again, but we're, we're spreading the message today that you've already bo been born, you've already died, you've already rose from the grave, and you're already offering salvation today. All that we have to do is believe. But Lord, also we're spreading today the message that you are going to return. Thank you, Lord, for that blessed hope that we have today as Christians. I pray that you'll be with us throughout this week as we begin our week tomorrow and start our week. And Lord, as we come in contact with that person or that group of people that may be lost and without you, that Lord, something we do in our life and something we do to show them that makes them realize they need their relationship with you before it's too late. Forgive us where we fail you as we pray and ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.